Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the most extensive list I have ever seen. Hey guys, so we have. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Sorry, so we have been away for about a week and a half um, from YouTube, we'll call it, because we haven't gone anywhere. Um, and the reason for that was just Ayla was kind of sick last weekend and. We didn't really do much filming or anything because of that, and... Preschool just started, so I've been yeah, so Yeah, she's back busy. to work full-time, and... School, school just started, so... Yeah, and I'm back to school, crazy. and I'm also working still, so it's just pretty busy. We're back now, and we're excited to start filming more about um, our decision about choosing a sperm donor. Mm -hmm. um, we've been doing lots of researching and thinking about it, and uh, working on starting that process, so it's a very exciting time for us. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And so today we're just going to actually look at some profiles and kind of uh, get a sense of, you know, what it's like and, you know, what we have to look for. to just talk with you and let you know kind of some of the things that we have found so far with trying to find a donor and just what we are experiencing with this whole process so um, the biggest thing is like what kinds of things are we looking for in a donor that's a big one um, we've said this before but we want to like make the donor have the similar characteristics as Caleb would. Yeah. So like um, brown hair, hazel eyes. Yeah. Um, you know, height wise similar to me, weight wise similar to me. Yeah, I mean you within know, reason. Within it's reason. Not like that's huge deal, but um, we want somebody with you know good intelligence. Some and, and you know that is actually. <laughs> quite often displayed when you're looking at different profiles. Yeah, I mean, you can um, even see their GPA in college. It's pretty or, funny. Or, you know, their SAT scores. So yeah. <laughs> some, some of them even had IQ scores, actually, depending on the bank. So really cool to see, you know, you get a full, full understanding of what these people are like, and you get to learn a lot about them. So that's really reassuring. You know, you get to know, you know, what you're choosing, who you're picking, and yeah. Lots of medical information. There's a lot of genetic testing that's done. Really, you know, when you look at all these genetic tests, you get to see that they're not a carrier of them, which is really nice. Um, people yeah. who have had a family history of less issues don't go through as much testing, so there's always something that could be there. But the nice thing is, you know, that's there, it's disclosed. <laughs> <laughs> we get to see it. But at the end of the day, if we were to conceive naturally, all of that would be out of our control. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's only so much we're gonna do. We're not gonna be crazy. And, you know, if we get handed a, some sort of, you know, genetic issue in, a chi in our child, you know, that's just life. And that's just how, you know, how life goes. So, we're obviously gonna yeah. do our best to just make sure that we're giving the best shot at it. So, if there's anything that we have seen in our own his in my history, more specifically, obviously. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Um, if there's anything that I've seen a lot in my history, we might choose a donor that definitely does not have those similar things, just because then that's one less Increasing thing. Increasing Yeah, right? exactly. So it's a lot, like it's definitely a lot to look, look at. Um, it's pretty cool, like it's crazy how detailed it can get, mm -hmm. um, which it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like they're doing their job, the banks are doing their job at making sure that this, 
the donors are appropriate and that they're not giving us any kind of mm -hmm. ill quality do donor samples, right? So it's nice to know that um, it's comforting. Well, and it's, you know, it's very transparent. So, you know, you get to see the ins and outs of each person and and that's important to us. So, so yeah, I think it's, it's going to be really interesting as we continue to look for our donor and so we will continue to update you guys along that way. Um, but also, I guess we want to talk more about once you've kind of chosen a donor, you know, you get to then, I guess for us, we want to make sure that we only use one donor. We want to have multiple children and we don't want to have each child be, be Ayla's but then also a different donor because then they're all half brothers yeah. and sisters. So I want them like the siblings should be able to be genetically linked to each other yeah, completely. Yeah, that's really important for us. Because that just, I know, I don't know. I think that if they can't be genetically linked to their father, they should at least be able to be to each other to and each you. Other. And they yeah. always be you, but yeah, mm -hmm. to each other as well. So that's important to us, which so, means in order to do that, yeah, in order to do that, <laughs> you have to buy all of the vials of donated s sperm at one time. Yeah, and it's like right now. Like right now. So, so that's a lot. for us, you know, we have to decide exactly what that number is going to look like. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's hard to say. It they is hard usually to say. say one vial where most clinics will use one vial for one treatment. So one IUI in our case. Yeah. And that means one try, one chance. Um, we don't know the future. We don't know how many tries or ch chances it's going to take um, in order to achieve however many children we want. I mean, who knows, right? So I want to have that like security net and have enough that if I need to, I can use them. I don't want to run out and then, you know, be stuck thinking like, well, now we can only have, whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Um, <laughs> now we can only have two kids or do we, you know, do we get a different donor for the third? I just want to try and, you know, make it easier for us that way. So it's kind of tough to be able to get that many samples, I think. Um, but, you know, the way I look at it, if we end up getting too many samples, that's okay. Because if we, ra if we run out, it's really... It's probably <laughs> boogers for my sneeze. <laughs> if, we, yeah. if we run out, <laughs> yeah. then, you know, the issue is... If we run out? They may... That's not what you mean. Yes, it that's is. That's what you mean? That's oh. what I mean. That's okay. what I'm talking about. I'm still thinking about your boogers. <laughs> okay. If we were to run out of samples, you know, either because we only got a few and we used them all and we got wonderful babies or we use them all and we got two babies or three babies whatever um and then we run out we want another child we run the risk that that donor is no longer supplying samples mm -hmm. and then we have to go through the whole process of requesting them to come back into the you know the sperm and they bank might and not. they may not be yeah. open to that anymore when so you think about it that's gonna like by the time we're ready to have our third child it's gonna many be years, years down many the road. years so it's definitely something that we have to be proactive with now yeah. in order to make sure everything about this is like thinking about the future. How is it going to affect us later? How is it going to affect the kids? What is going to happen? Basically, you're just planning out your entire like next 30 years. years. 30. <laughs> 30 years as they grow up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm quite a, I'm excited. I, I feel excited. feel really good about it. I feel yeah. like the more time that goes on, the more I realize that I this is gonna work for us and this is gonna be the right decision I know that there are a lot of people out there um, maybe you <laughs> who kind of it's hard to wrap your ha head around the whole idea because it's not conventional it's not an easy thing to think about you know having a baby by some other person's sperm I uh, totally I know I get it gotcha girl I know <laughs> it's really complicated and it's not for everyone it really isn't for everyone and we're not saying that this is the right way or anything like that we're just saying that this is what's going way. to work for us and this is what we want to do and we know that deep in our hearts and we have come to terms with it and we are happy with it and I mean We've got lots of questions about, you know, like, have you thought of adoption and things like that? Of course, like, we've honestly, we've thought about 
every possible way we could possibly get a, a child into our home, we've thought about it and every option is an amazing option. Every option is good and there's people who do them and like everything is great because each person has their own journey. It's there, just, this is ours. And their own ours. circumstance as yeah. to why they have to do that option. Mm -hmm. This is ours. This is yeah. what we feel comfortable with and what we feel ready. Like I, I was saying to Caleb the other day, like, I feel like if any two people, I'm not tuning my own horn, but if any two people can raise a child who was conceived by donor sperm in an environment that is loving and caring, I think it would be us. And I feel strongly about that because um, of how I, how I plan and how I think about how I'm going to mother that child and how I'm going to raise them um, despite of the way we conceive them. And you know, the more I think about them, the more humbled I feel that I get to have the chance to to do that, to, yeah. you know, to prove to myself and to exactly, prove to everyone else exactly. that we can do this right. and we got it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> so, you know, the other thing too is... My heart's getting tired. All right, Ooh. <laughs> All right camera swap. Ugh. So, the other thing as well, um, when it comes to adoption, that would mean Ayla does not get to, you know, experience pregnancy. Yeah. And because there aren't any issues that we are aware of currently with Ayla. Um, there's no reason why she would not be, you know, conceiving the child. So the thing is, we wanted her to experience pregnancy. We want her to give birth. We want her to be linked to our child. And because we still have that option for right now, um, why would We're we not go do with that? It, yeah. So. You know, Not there's, that there's anything wrong with adoption. We would love to, if that you know, was what if our we, path yeah. was. We would be happy with it completely. And there's always room for that option Don't. down the road. You know, we can still use donor sperm, have two or three kids ourselves, and then you know want another one and decide to adopt because there's lots of children out there that need homes and need help. Mm -hmm. So right now we want a baby, and we want to be able to, you know, make a baby, and this is the best way that we can do it. So. So yeah, that's all we have for right now. Um, there's a lot more things to talk about along the way and a lot more things to go over. So we will definitely um, do more videos within the process. And you know, once we find a donor that we like and once we order and everything, we are going to do more about that. So uh, we just want to say a big thank you for watching. Um, we've received a lot of great support. Uh, yeah. from our time to make a decision video and we're really yeah. thankful um, there's lots of people who have questions too so if you want to even write down your questions and maybe we'll do a video um, a frequently asked questions video or something like that some kind of Q&A um, that would be cool because then we could maybe answer those questions for everyone who might be thinking about them so definitely comment down below we yeah. try our best to answer everything um, to the best we can and we yeah we appreciate it. And as well, I just want to mention once again that we do have a GoFundMe page set up. There will be a link down in the description mm -hmm. below. So feel free to check that out. No obligation to donate, but you know, there's some information and more about our journey on there as well. So check it out. You might find it interesting. And like and subscribe. And as thanks always. so much for <laughs> everyone who's been with us so far. We've actually just hit over 2,000 subscribers. Wow, that's amazing because we were just at a thousand just three weeks ago, I think yeah. it was. So, it's just wow. really cool. It's very humbling and we're just so excited to see what's in store for us as we continue. Yeah. So yeah, my arm's getting super tired, so we are going to end the vlog. See you guys later. See you. Bye. Have a good one. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. So, drum roll please. We are going to do sperm donor.